pattern we're going to do now is the CDC spandan version of the spandan. As you might imagine, it starts much the same way as the spandan. The wing goes in last, so we're tying a body of thread first, leave that tag end high on the hook to help us split the tails. And then we're going to tie in two microfibit tails. Tying the microfibit tails on top of the hook, pinch and loop. Like that, check the length and maybe a little bit longer. Then we're going to separate those tails and squeeze that piece of thread between them. Just takes a little bit of fiddling here. Spread them out nicely like that. And then we're going to form it again. We're going to form a body of just the thread. It's going to be a little olive CDC spandan. Try to keep the butts of the tails on the top of the hook, it just keeps it neater. A little bit of space, leave a little bit of space behind the eye for the wing. It's not going to be as bulky. That's the hair version. And we're going to really tie our CDC wing. For the wing on this fly, I'm going to use some olive CDC. You'll see that the CDC giant has quite a thick stalk in it, so you don't want the stalk tied in, you just want the fibers. So, what I normally do is stroke the fibers back and just snip out that first piece of stalk. Stroke the fibers back the other way. Put the feather on top of the hook and make one or two loose, loose wraps. And controlling the tension, just slide the feather back through that loop of thread. There. And you'll feel the stalk slip through, snick through underneath the thread. We can cut it off. If you want more density in the wing, snick at another piece of the stalk. Obviously you can equally use another feather. And repeat the process. Two loose wraps, slide it through until that stalk slips through, tie down. And snip off the excess. And we're going to stand this wing up now. Obviously, this doesn't spin or flare in the same way that deer hair does, so you need to do a little bit of manual manipulation. Push all the fibers back and form a little ball of thread. just behind the eye and this one I don't like to super glue with finish because if the super glue gets on that CDC it will ruin it so just do a whip finish in the standard way and then I'm going to trim the wing Take a few fibers that are a little bit wayward, and there you have CDC spandan. The CDC spandan, as you can see, it's tied in a very similar manner. You just have to manipulate the material differently to form the wing, because you can't just simply cut it off and flare it as you would deer hair. It makes for an extremely light, delicate pattern. And I do think one of the great advantages of this fly is that when the fish eat it, it feels probably much more like a real fly than most of our other imitations. The CDC is extremely soft. In small sizes, it can be absolutely lethal. And I don't tie standard spandans below about size 18. After that, I'll use CDC or poly yarn instead 
to maintain that soft feel of the fly. CDC Spandan, another real winner, particularly in small sizes.